but uh, it's kind of disappointing to get all these fancy upgrades. Well, upgrade possibilities for uh, snipers and whatnot. And this guy's going to be uh, <laughs> dying before too long because I've already decided to join uh, duty. Can you upgrade the guitar? No. Darn. <laughs> uh, well. I should probably stash this ammo somewhere. Like, even though I've decided not to uh, pick up another weapon, because right now my loadout is just insanely good. Like, I don't even need this, because... Well, for one thing, I don't use pistols that much. Because, unfortunately, they're always made worthless in these stalker games and mods. But for another, uh... Like, there's just so much 9x19 ammo everywhere. I don't ever have the issue of running out. Let's put this in the box as well. Keeping the grenades just because, you know, I can just kind of pick them up and throw them everywhere. You know, as soon as I get into any sort of battle. Ooh, a stash in Lab X18. I want you to turn down the volume of this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I am finally under the uh, main threshold of stamina, so it should be able to... <coughs> should last a bit longer. Just let it get all the way full. Whatever that was, it can stay over there. Alright, actually, you can come this way as long as it goes into directly into the base and causes havoc there and leaves me alone. Instantaneously into the battle music, eh? <laughs> well, I'll just be passing through. Is that rock floating? No. I guess not. It kind of looked like it for a second. Uh, check the... I guess somebody was moving a chair. I heard or felt the floor vibrate a little bit. Hmm. Now, I've always found it strange that this bus stop only had a bench on one side. I mean, what is this side? Not allowed to sit down or anything? Whatever. Let's get the uh, proper weapon for the situation out. There it. All right. Right. It must be another quest that I'm thinking of, where you have to deal with stuff down here. All right then. Let's stick with the anti-mutant gun for a little longer then. So where exactly is this again? Must be there. So what's the point of having the uh, marker here if there's absolutely nothing here? I don't know. I'm probably just remembering everything completely out of sequence, but... I remember having to help Duty fight off stuff there. And, like, maybe one other place before having to go directly down here to the old pig farm. Of course, they're gonna get... They're gonna be halfway through the battle before I even get there, because I've got no stamina. Right, let's just use up the garbage first. Then, if need be, I've got good grenades. Ooh, did that even go in the door? Looked to be pretty close. 
Doesn't seem to have done any damage though, which is not un or not surprising at all. I don't get it though. I, I, I just don't understand why they made these grenades so worthless in this mod. Like I remember in vanilla and pretty much every other game, the RGD fives are usable at least. Aimed way too low there. Oh, perfect. There we go, another good shot. If I do say so of myself. Followed by a series of really terrible shots, because why not? Who is shooting me from over here? I don't... You'd like... I see there's somebody inside that doorway, but they don't have any line of sight on me. Come on, learn how to aim. Perfect! Haha! <laughs> Guess I have to reach a quota of really terrible shots before I'm allowed to get a good one off. What is this guy even using? I'm just curious. Like, it's really loud. Fine, let's use up an F1. Whoop. Saw you. Saw you over there. I think that got him. Hey, Freedom, are you gonna help or what? Alright. Okay, I was gonna say, is he stuck in the ground? But no, he seems to be lying prone. I think part of the problem here is I'm trying to do this on the uh, regular DPI instead of switching to the uh, sniping DPI. There we go. Bump it back up to 1600. I'm hoping some of these uh, mercenaries we're using. Ooh. We're using some 9x39mm weapons because I could use a little bit more of that ammo. I mean, as long as the game's going to ignore the fact that I've got 60 of these I'm starting to run. Well, no, I guess, I guess I'm not really running low on it. It's just that. Yeah, I'm mixing up how much ammo I actually have left in this because of the UI differences. Like, I'm still used to Shadow Chernobyl's way of displaying ammo. Disp <coughs> Sorry. Uh, despite not having played that game in any incarnation, incar uh, whatever the hell that word is, I've completely forgotten. But and completely, uh, the, the, the point is, I'm used to how it displays the ammo, where it just shows your total ammo for every wep or every ammo type you have, instead of just the uh, ammo type that's loaded into your weapon. Good, good, good. Just what I needed. There we go. I could have sworn I tried to do this before with a PSO scope and it wouldn't let me put it on the rifle. Oh well, now my uh, sniper, <laughs> designated sniping rifle has been uh, designatedly sniped. Or some of a less <laughs> horrendously stupid way of saying that. Hold on. And sell those little things. Take your ammo back as well. Checkpoint burrows? Um... All right, I'll, I'll just keep these two around because I anticipate being able to sell them for a decent amount of money. I mean, they're in relatively good condition and, uh, you know, they're worth a lot in the base. 
So hopefully I can get some money before I totally screw over freedom and stab him in the back with a duty at my side. Dun, 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 dun. But first, I should probably not go this far out. Uh, whatever. Let's live dangerously. Never mind, there's a chimera. <laughs> Regardless of which path I take, let's stop by Lab X18 because I want to quick save first. Then I want to pick up that stash. <laughs> you know, I've got like zero carrying capacity right now. It's a shame you can't attach this to this rifle. Though I suppose there really isn't anywhere to attach it to. I mean, you could, like, duct tape it to the barrel, but... <laughs> that'd be a really horrible way, and it probably wouldn't hold. And none of the rest of them cared. Just the way that I like it. Okay, I was gonna snipe them... Yeah, I'd try to snap him a bit with a pistol, but radiation says no. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's <laughs> just get a move move on to the lab. Hopefully there isn't anything too terrible in there. Well, if there is anything terrible in there, I think I've got enough shock and ammo to take care of it. Unless it's like a bandit or something. No, it can't be bandits. They're not, they're not on the radar. So if there's anything terrible in here, it's going to be mutant. Therefore, very successfully susceptible to our good friend Buckshot. Just uh, have a quick look over here. You never know. They may have... Reuse some old SOC stash locations. And of course, the directional sound on the uh, walking or movement signs are making me think something's behind me when it's not. Well, it's a pretty good find. Shame I can't carry all of it, but. Oh, well, it's still marked on the radar, so, uh... If I ever need dart rounds or a spas 12 to ignore, I know where to find them. Now back to the base. Howdy, partner. Thanks for your help. After the shootout at the farmhouse, we know that mercenaries are behind the attacks on freedom. Information from the Commandant's PDA also confirms this. The question is, why the hell are they doing it? Mercenaries have always stayed neutral and cooperated with all of the Zone's factions. I wonder who the client was for this little job. Perhaps it was Duty, or the Army. I've got more questions than answers right now, but I'll get to the bottom of this. You can bet on it. You've held up your end of the deal, and now I'll tell you about Fang. He was looking for rare components here, and I got real curious as to what he wanted with all that ancient crap. When I asked him directly, he told me to mind my own business. <laughs> it's too bad I'm not a quitting type. I asked one of our tech guys to hack into his PDS frequency, and we were able to monitor him for a few days. It looks like he went to the garbage. I'd look for him there. By the way, I made a note of his PDA frequency, and I've already uploaded it for you. His location is now marked on your PDA. Are you ready to help Freedom once again? We know a lot more, but the mercenaries keep attacking us, and we're down to our bare bones here. I still don't know how they're getting into the valley. We've got all the roads covered with our outposts. It looks like there's a tunnel here somewhere that we don't know about. That's how the mercenaries are getting into the Dark Valley. We need to find out where that hole is and blow it to bits. There's an old triangulator in the valley. It was built by geodesists back in Soviet times. The triangulator comprises three antennas. Once all three antennas are activated, you can monitor the surface of the whole valley. If it works, we'll be able to work out how the mercenaries are getting into the valley. 
One of those antennas is here in the base, but the other two were captured by mercenaries. Help us regain control over those antennas. Alright, enough talking. Let's get to work. Indeed. I had to reboot the game there, because I walked into the door and then the codes went all strange. Ran some quick diagnostics. It doesn't seem to have been an actual, you know, serious issue. But... Well, you'll never know. But as of right now, I want to explore. Capture the antennas, be damned. So just see how much of this school it actually allows you to explore. Because they... Obviously they blocked off this entrance and there's no way to break into it. That I can find, at least. And of course the stamina's gone. So, uh, one of these doors, maybe? Yeah, there we go. This is going to have to do it uh, for anti-rad. Because I can't afford to... I don't have enough free space to get rid of the uh, other item. I'm supposed to do have some anti-rads. Maybe I'll just have to do this quickly. You know. Document about sheep. Yeah, I'll... Search the corpses I see in the radar, and that's about all I'll be all I will be able to do. There we go, slowly dropping it down. So I'll have to keep using the cheap stuff. Okay, what have you got? A pistol. Okay, a junk pistol. I'll uh, have a look at those documents at some other point when I'm not in such a dangerously irradiated area. I'd like to explore this place a bit more, see how different it is in uh, this version. But I guess I'll have to do that with some demo record cheating. So otherwise, uh, I don't want to waste all my uh, equipment. Cool. Automatic pistol. Not that useful, though. I moved on from 9 by 18 a long time ago. Well, I suppose now it's time to uh, slowly walk on over and help freedom. Can I swap to the cheap ammo now? No. What a shame. Maybe when this other stuff is gone. Alright, so, so I was indeed uh, remembering things completely wrong. Remember things in complete inverse way of how they actually happen. God, I keep looking here like I've got energy drinks that I obviously don't. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, you know, looks like freedom was a whole lot of help here, but there is a second squad. Are these. Never mind. Wow. Absolutely zero uh, sway. What's a... or is this normal? And I'm just so used to AMKs adding sway to everything. Oh, that was beautiful. That not so much. Well, oh, that was pretty good. Almost didn't quite make up for it. Need a few more cartwheel causing headshots to uh, make up for the bad shooting there. There you are. Oh, I think that got him. Well, it hit him. Well, not too bad. 
I mean, it was terrible for the freedom, but hey, that's their fault. Most big Maverick 88 Cruiser. Junk. I need to stop picking up shotgun shells. I need to stop picking up 9 by 19 I will keep up, keep picking these up, though. Why? I don't know. Because I like being able to spam grenades that do absolutely nothing for no reason whatsoever. 